Welcome to my at-home nail care. This was supposed to be a relaxing video, but I decided to include some medical information as well. So we're gonna be covering how to remove press-on nails, how to apply press-on nails, and some medical problems you must not miss. So I'm hoping this video will save your life and maybe somebody else's. Yes, nail care. So we're gonna start off with 100% acetone not nail polish, not the regular nail polish remover, but 100% acetone. I'm assuming you've had press on nails before and you're trying to remove them. I also have a glass jar or glass, yeah, container that I don't use for food. I also have some nail files, a nail clipper, and a cuticle stick. I also have some cotton and also some paper towels, some lotion, and a clean towel. So this is my hand. As you can see, it's not looking the best, but I just took off a set of press-on nails and I have one nail left. So this one's a little bit stubborn and I'm gonna show you how to take it off without injuring your natural nail. So never apply force to the old nails. These are the old set that I was wearing. <laughs> So the first thing you're gonna do is, or I like to do is cut the uh, artificial nail really short. You wanna really cut it short or as short as you can. And again, make sure that you're not forcing anything. So I'm getting my glass bowl. I'm gonna add some acetone to it, just a little, because I only actually have one finger left. And then I'm gonna dip it in for several minutes. You just have to have patience and wait. So again, this was supposed to be a relaxing video just about nail care and press on nails. But because I am a physician by training, um, I decided that I would include some important information. So look at my nail when it's finished soaking. It looks kind of gross. So the press on nail starts to shrivel up literally. And this is the time you test to see whether it can come off. So I use a little cuticle stick and I just kind of tap the edges. Again, don't force it. If it's not ready to come off, then you stick it back in the acetone again because you don't want to rip your nail off or at least create extra cracks. So as you can see, this has been about five minutes and now the nail is ready to come off and my nail is intact. <laughs> I haven't injured myself. As you can see, the skin looks pretty ashy once you soak it in the acetone. Don't be alarmed, that's normal. And now we're just going to uh, cut my fingernails short because the thing is when I wear artificial nails or press on nails, I don't like them long. All right, let's do a little medical for you. This is a fungal infection I'm showing you. Now, if you have this, please don't wear press-on nails. Do not wear press-on nails if you have a fungal infection. Um, this here is what you call paronchia. This is a bacterial infection. And some of these things, when in their mild case, can be treated at home, I will tell you later. Um, this is green nail. This is very common amongst people who have gone to nail salons often. Um, this is a bacterial infection, Pseudomonas. It is pretty nasty, and if your nail looks like this, do not wear press-on nails. Okay, so what I'm showing you here is very important. This is a black line, as you can see across the finger in both pictures. You may have seen people with this. A lot of African Americans or black people may have this, and it's not cancer, but there are a significant number of people who may not realize that this represents uh, melanoma or represents cancer of the skin or cancer of the nail. You need to see a dermatologist if you have this and not cover it up with an artificial nail. So let me be clear, I am in no way saying that artificial nails promotes cancer, not at all. I'm simply saying that check the health of your nails to make sure you're not covering up a bigger problem. Okay, so if you are sure that you just have a mild case of a bacterial infection or a fungal infection, there are home remedies you can use. And as you can see right now, I'm kind of after uh, filing my nails, I'm pushing it, uh, pushing back my cuticles with a cuticle stick, and this is optional. Okay, so here are some 
home remedies that you might want to try. Uh, remove the artificial nail as soon as possible. You can also soak the nail in dilute apple cider vinegar, just sort of like half and half or um, Tea tree oil is another alternative. There are over-the-counter products that you can use for antifungals, uh, polishes that you can use. Keep the nail clean and dry. That's also super important. You might also want to modify your diet and cut out sugar. Um, but definitely, no matter what I say in this video, see your own doctor. If you are concerned, see your own doctor. Okay, I'm gonna try and focus on my nails right now. So my nails are looking pretty good. I have cleaned them, I have oiled them, I have filed off the extra glue that was on them from the previous nails, and I have now washed my hands and drying them off before we get started with my press-on nails, a new set. And can you believe these fancy press-on nails that I have, they literally cost about $10. So I don't have to expose myself to crowds or to a nail salon. I can do this in the comfort of my home. And when I don't feel like wearing them, I simply soak my fingers in acetone or let them fall off because sometimes they just fall off. So this is where I keep my little stash. It looks like a pretty cool large textbook doesn't it or storybook i got this at hobby lobby years ago so yes this is where i keep my artificial nails or acrylic nails i like the uh, brand kiss they have so many different options and these options appear to adhere well to my nail because i've tried other options where they looked like they were just floating on top of my nail or they created a space, which is not good. And these are little tabs that you can use if you don't wanna use glue. Now this is a set that I like wearing a lot. These are the French tips. And then these are some really blingy kind of nails. <laughs> I like them cause they have that new jelly look. Okay, and then I have these. These kind of remind me of winter kind of white sparkly. I don't know where I'm going in that, but I have them. And then these are a modern French tip set. This is a different brand. This is not Kiss. They're a lot shorter. I was gonna wear them one day and then I was like, nah, a little boring. Okay, I also have some stickers if you wanna personalize the nails. So let's get started. I've decided to wear these Jelly Fantasy set. I love the sparkles on them. So we got the package coming out. It comes with the glue. You see the little display. You've got your nail file. You've got the little glue tabs, the stick, and of course the nails. So I like to pour them out and then carefully select the right nail for my finger. Because a lot of times they may not be the exact size. Some people say you can wear them a little bit smaller. Other people say you can wear them a little larger. I prefer them the exact size. So if they're too big, I will file them down. All right, so this is the most tedious part, just figuring out what size matches your finger. They're so pretty. So I basically pick out all the sizes for every finger before gluing them on. As you can see, that thumb piece is a little too big. I don't wanna end up gluing it to my skin. It makes it so much easier if you've picked out the right sizes for each finger before you start gluing. So here I have all 10 fingers ready. So now I'm filing the ends of the artificial nail because they have these little tabs on them that stick out a little bit, perhaps in the manufacturing. So yeah, just file those down. Um, it doesn't take too much. And then we are going to be ready to glue them on. It's really very simple. Okay, here is the brand new glue that came in the pack. And um, yeah, the only challenge here is trying to make sure you don't get glue on your fingers. Because no, it will glue your skin together. So be very careful. All right, so I start off by putting some glue, a thin layer on my fingertip. 
make sure that you've covered it sufficiently. You don't want too much, but you don't want too little because you don't want any air pockets or you don't want any areas where the nail does not adhere to your nail. That's what causes lifting. Um, and also more important than lifting, that's what causes spaces to form that trap bacteria or, or air bubbles that end up trapping moisture and breeding fungal infections. So you really want to make sure that the nail adheres well to your fingernail and you just press it down for about five to 10 seconds, not long. So there you go. Nail number one is on. And then I will just proceed to attach all the other fingers. <laughs> that sounds funny. Attach all the other nails to my fingers. So again, just make sure you have enough glue on there. And if you don't want to use the glue, you also have the option of using the little tabs. I find that the tabs are a little bit more temporary. So let's say you just want to wear the nails for a day or two, then you can certainly use those little sticky tabs it came with. But if you want the nails to last about a week to even two weeks, uh, then use the glue. I, will, I really wouldn't wear these nails past two weeks because what happens is, again, some of them start to lift and then it becomes a reservoir for bacteria or infection. And you wanna be able to check on your nails. So don't wear these straight and then put on another set immediately. Give your nails a break. So here is a before insert and there is an after. Isn't she cute? We're all done. I hope you take away that you can do this yourself at home without spending a ton of money. <laughs> do what makes you feel beautiful. Do what makes you feel happy. But number one, take care of your health first. Make sure your nails are healthy before you put on press-on nails. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll share it with somebody else. Thank you so much for watching and God bless. Bye. Oh, of course, follow me on Instagram. <laughs>